What's up? Alec back with the daily stock market and look at that super green trade today, especially for certain stocks like China based stocks. Alibaba up 13%, Coinbase up 12%, NEO up 10%. And if we scroll down, we can even see Tesla's even up 5% to $113 per share. So in this video, we're going to be talking about BABA, NEO, China stocks. We'll even do a quick Tesla update towards the end of the video. So make sure you stay throughout the entire video. Smash a thumbs up if you appreciate these videos and share with a friend. And with that said, let's get right into the video. Baba is the first stock that we have to talk about today. Alibaba, ticker symbol BA, BA up 13% on the day, 18% on the weeks. So the price movements are super bullish right now on Alibaba stock. So the question is, will the trend continue? If we pull out to the last three months, we can even see they're up 25%. But in the last year, they are down 12% doing a little bit better than the S&P 500 as a whole. However, if we pull out to around 2022, we can see to date they're still down around 66%. Even with that 25% bounce back, they were down as much as around 80% as one point. So is Alibaba a good stock to be investing in for long term? Here we have a really good article going over some important information. Here we see China internet stocks were hot Wednesday with Baba stock JD and PDD surging after solid gains on Tuesday. Also, hopes for a peaking China COVID wave are helping with China EV makers and Macau focused casinos also rallying. But a positive regulatory move for Alibaba affiliated and group gave a special boost to e commerce and internet names. But JD stock and peers may already be extended. Okay, so that's something definitely to think about as well. Now, we also had a lot of Fed data coming out today, economic data. Fed minutes for the December policy meeting released 2 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday showed that Fed's officials continue to see an interest rates staying high for some time. Not one policymaker foresaw any rate cuts in 2023, despite the market's pricing in some cuts later on this year. So the market hasn't pr priced that in yet. So that's a good thing, some good information to have, be ahead of the curve a little bit. One reason why policy Fed makers may be reforcing their hawkish stance in Fed minutes and recent speeches is to curb a stock and bond ra price rally that undermines the inflation fight. Remember, inflation is the most important battle for the Feds, and they want to get that in inflation under control, and they'll do anything possible to get that inflation under control. Here we see some more important information. Stock market Wednesday, the stock market wavered near the open, rebounded for solid gains, then backed off somewhat in an up and down session. The Dow Jones rose 0.4% in Wednesday's stock market trading. S&P 500 climbed around 0.7%, while Microsoft amongst the biggest losers. Microsoft stock fell 4.4% and got downgraded also. So Apple stock rose around 1%. Tesla bounced up 5%. U.S. crude oil price tumbled 5.3% to $72 per barrel. China stocks rally. Investors are bullish on China as it reopens following years of zero COVID. The resulting massive COVID wave is taking a toll. But there is optimism that infections are peaking in big cities or will soon. Meanwhile, Chinese regulators approve letting billionaire Jack Ma and group raise $1.5 billion for the final tech giant's consumer finance unit okay so that's pretty interesting e-commerce giant alibaba owns 33 percent of ant baba stock surged 13 percent rebounding from the 200 day line to the highest since late august so let's look at some baba fundamentals here we can see that the market cap is 275 billion the pe ratio we can see as 150 However, the forward PE ratio is closer to 13, so that's a huge, huge gap. So therefore, you probably want to look at the PS ratio, which is 2.3, still a little bit high. PB ratio is 2.0. Okay, so if we go over and look at more of the fundamentals and financials, we can see that they are a profitable company with around $1 to $2 in EPS. Then net income, we can see that they have been growing net income significantly since 2018, 82 billion to 2021, which was 136 billion, which was a huge gain. However, in 
2022, most recently, we saw a huge loss from 2021 to 2022 with negative 75% growth in net income, which is super concerning. However, we're con continuing to see that total revenue growing and growing last five years, growing from $250 billion in total revenue in 2018 all the way to $853 billion in 2020. So that's extreme revenue growth growing around 50% to 40% every single year for the last five years. So the question is, can BABA keep that revenue growth up? Can they bounce back on their net income? And if we look at their balance sheet, it looks fantastic. Also, with the debt-to-asset ratio under 50%, and it's actually under 40%, it's at 36. Lots of assets, $1.7 trillion in assets, and only $600 billion in liabilities. It's still a large amount of liabilities, but with all the assets, it's a very, very comforting balance sheet. Great net income, great total revenue. The only bad thing is that huge decrease in net income that we've seen recently. However, if we go to quarter over quarter on their net income, we can see that they're continuing the trend down with Q2 2023 unprofitable negative 18 billion and Q4 2020 with negative profitability as well negative 21 billion dollars so it's a little bit concerning they're starting to lose money I would be tracking that quarter over quarter net income to see it bouncing back in a strong way if I was a BABA investor. Now, most analysts have around a 30% upside on BABA over the next 12 months to around $134 per share. If we scroll down, we can see a lot of these analysts are five and four star analysts, all just reiterating one month ago, around $120 to $150 for a price target on BABA. Right now, the stock is around $103, and there's a good chance we'll see it above $125 per share or higher in the next 12 months. Okay, the next stock that we have to talk about is NEO at $10.68 per share, up 10% in the last day. However, in the month, it's still down 17%, so there's still a lot of buying opportunity with NEO. We've seen them as low as nine dollars and 25 cents per share they were in one of my last videos of the best stocks under ten dollars per share so whenever neo goes under ten dollars per share and closer to eight dollars per share i think it's a pretty good deal especially for a swing trade an interesting article neo stock charges up after deliveries beat by wide margins less than a week after they just cut their estimates okay so neo Lee Auto reported record deliveries just days after providing guidance, but Tesla missed expectations. The U.S. listed shares of NEO surged Tuesday and Wednesday after the China-based electric vehicle maker reported fourth quarter deliveries that rose well above the estimates that was provided less than a week before. Okay, Lee stock up 10% also surged after the NEO rival reported December deliveries that beat guidance provided just a day before, while Tesla shares that were up 5% today, a little bit of a bounce back, dropped after disappointing delivery results. So NEO stock could be a good buying opportunity. Tesla could be a good buying opportunity. We're going to talk deeper about NEO stock in one of the next videos. I am going to be saving them for a deeper dive in the next video where we talk about best stocks under $10 per share. So make sure you like and subscribe with post notifications on so you don't miss out on that future upload. Everybody loves those videos when I do a full video of the best stocks under $10 per share. And to do a quick update on Tesla up 5% to $113 per share, we still see them down 39% in the past month. So there could be a big buying opportunity here, down 54% the past three months. We see a strong 52 week support here at $113 per share and almost a multi-year support. Okay, so there's a good chance that we're going to be seeing Tesla going down to around $95 per share or even lower to around $65 per share. So I'm not buying a bunch of Tesla shares yet. Yes, I am dollar cost averaging in consistently over time. But when I'm loading the boat, 
I want that to be closer to around 65 to $85 per share. I think there's still strong possibility that we can see Tesla at those levels. And I'm still strong possibility that I think we will see Tesla at new all time highs to around 400 or even $500 per share. However, that could take a few years, two years, three years. But if Tesla continues the demand, you know, if they continue building gigafactories and pumping out Model S's, Model 3's, Model Y's left and right and expanding into new things, there's a very, very strong possibility that we will see Tesla above $400, $500 per share. So if we're able to buy around $65 or $85 per share and we're able to sell around $400 or $500 per share, that's over a 5x or 500% potential gain on Tesla. So thank you guys for all the love and support on these videos. I hope you enjoy it. If you made money from this channel or it's helped you made money at all, drop a like, share with a friend. We're all here to make money together so you're not the only one making money alone. You know, a lot of my students, by the way, if you're not a part of my close friends list, family members or friends are not stock market investors, so they have nobody to talk to or bounce their ideas off of. So that's what I'm here for. Message me here on Instagram. If you want to join the close friends list, click on success number seven, success number six. You can see it on the highlight section of my Instagram. Tons of success stories have now been added and over 600 to 700 positive testimonials, over 2,000 total students. Here we can see 81% gains, 59% gains. Big accounts welcome also over $1,100 in just one day of work. So just message me here on Instagram, over 188,000 followers now. We're gonna try to hit 250,000 followers before the end of the year. So if you are joining the journey now, you're still getting in super early on the road to 1 million followers on Instagram, 1 million subscribers on YouTube, and $1 million in my brokerage account in the stock market. We're already about 25% of the way there on the road to a $1 million in the stock market. So if you want to join with me, message me on Instagram, follow along with my trades. When you go ahead and join my close friends list, you get access to what I'm buying, what I'm selling, option trades, strike prices, expiration dates, swing trades, short-term and long-term investments and everything in between. So that's why you won't see these green highlights here that say the close friends list. That's for close friends list members only, but you will see success number seven and success number six, success number five. So go ahead and read through those stories. Share this video with a friend because you know it will benefit them. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and viewing. As long as you keep liking these videos, I'll keep making them for you. And remember, don't time the market, buy the market. Peace.